stay sane and stay on your path, which by the way, you should do. Let me give you four ideas. First and foremost, realize whenever there's ever any judgment or jealousy in general, check this out. You got one of two options. You either affirm the other person or you ignore it. Okay. Affirm the other person means, you know, if somebody's so worried, like let's say you're in an intimate relationship and it's your partner, your spouse, your lover, and they're just like, they're always jealous. You got to you affirm them. You'd say, I understand you're jealous, but I love you, honey. Things are going to be fine. Stop worrying about this. And all you can do is be patient and kind and caring and continually loving through their jealousy. They got to figure out their own stuff. And unless you're a therapist or a coach or you're equipped with dealing with that, you know how hard it is to get other people to change. If you need some advice on that, uh, watch some of my other YouTube videos, but you get the idea. It's, it's hard to change people. So all you can do is affirm them, welcome their own insecurities and vulnerabilities, accept them where they're at, be kind and compassionate with them as they're dealing with their insecurities. But on the other side, the other option is to just ignore it. And 99% of the world's jealousy, you should absolutely completely ignore it. When other people say, well, who do you think you are? When other people you know, say, well, it was easy for you. And other people are jealous because you worked your tail off and you achieved things. And now they're trying to claw you back down to their level. Don't let them do it. Ignore the hate online. Ignore their stupid side comments. Ignore their little, you know, what do you call that? That, that like they, they, they want to say something to you, but they don't. So they hold it back and then they over here, they take an action against you. You know what I'm talking about? All those things, you need to ignore those people, not let it hook you, not let it bring you down to their level, not ever let you stop being on your path, which leads to my second piece of advice. And this is really important. Revisit your why. What is it you really want of life and why? You know, what I've always found in motivation, if you read my book, The Motivation Manifesto, you know that our main search is to find that power to truly be ourselves and pursue the things that we really care about, that matter to us. That is, be ourselves fully, seek those things that enliven us and bring our passions alive. So check that out. That's what you got to continue doing. You have to revisit, why do I want to live my best life? Why do I want to achieve this thing? Because if you're not clear about why you want what you want, then everybody else clawing at you or being jealous or saying negative comments or, you know, just kind of sideswiping you all the time, they will derail you if you're not clear about your mission, your purpose, your drive, what you really want, your goals. Have that vision and don't let anybody claw you back from that. Number three, this is huge, 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 and people forget this all the time. It's about, I don't know how to say this without sounding bad, but getting better despite them. You know what I mean? Get better. Be even more excellent. When people are jealous, oh, look at her, how easy she's got it. You know what? Excel even more. Oh, sure, you can do this because you had your spoon, yada, 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 and they all say this. Get better. You know, get better, not to spite them, but despite them so that you can continually cry, climb on your own path to excellence. Because here's what happens. A lot of people, as someone achieves more and more levels of excellence, maybe they were jealous at the beginning, but then they start seeing it and they start seeing that there's art to what you're doing, that there's science to what you're doing, that there's hard work and effort. And the longer you're at it and the more you're at it, because you know what people are usually jealous of? Short-term success. But long-term success, most people, they admire it. They go, wow, she really worked for it. Wow, I've seen her year after year after year and it's paying off for her. Good for her. Good for him. So in other words, keep at it. Get better. Develop your level of excellence. And you know what? The more momentum you get in life, the more believers you tend to get as well. And this last piece of advice, number four, it's so straightforward. And I think it will really serve you. Always remember to serve others on your way up. You know, be humble and grateful for what you have, but don't forget to also be social with that. A lot of jealousy or the negativity that comes at us is because people think that we're narcissistic, we're in it for ourselves, that, that we don't care about anybody else, or they're jealous and the real insecurities that will leave them, that they'll get left behind. So they say these you know, weird comments, but what they're really saying is, please don't leave. What they're really saying is, you know, don't become somebody who's all about the success or the money or the fame or the wealth or the accolades or the statues, whatever it is, right? They want to know that you're still human 
And the best way to demonstrate that and the most needed thing you need to do as you continue to succeed is reach out and help those others who are on the same path of life, but maybe just a few yards behind you. Help lift them up. You know, as Booker T. Washington taught us, there's two ways to exert strength. One is pushing down and the other is pulling up. So pull some people up, help people, offer a guiding hand, give, donate, serve, volunteer, still be out among people serving and helping. Don't become one of those, you know, people who becomes lost in the Hollywood Hills all by yourself, just thinking about your own self, staring at your belly button all day, thinking how self-important you are. Be that person who's still out there, helping, guiding, serving, supporting, championing other people. Because you know what? You can always hate people, but it's hard to hate somebody who's a champion of others. Mm -hmm.